Those that climb the earth moves up at a constant speed. Climb objects appear to accelerate down due to a deceleration, aka losing that constant speed of the earth, because they are no longer being pushed up by the earth, and so start to lose that speed. If this was the case, then when you go on a plane up into the air, and it's moving at a constant speed, then the plane is moving you at a constant speed, just like the earth is claimed to be doing. Now the back wall of the plane would represent the ground due to the vector. When you are in the middle of the oil, you don't lose that sidewards upwards speed and start decelerating to the back of the plane, do you? Nor do you feel the back of the seat pushing on your back, pushing you in that direction. Like the claimed feeling of weight or pressure on your feet is what's claimed to be the earth moving up. So to try to represent this better, because some people are more visual, this box on the left would represent the earth, with the bottom line representing the ground. The line on the left and right representing walls. And I put a line on top to represent a box. So we could say this was a box and you'll see why soon. And then the finger is pointing up to say that the ground is moving up at a constant speed. So the ground is pushing up at a constant speed. Now basically, they say that the ground is moving up at a constant speed which pushes on objects, making those go at a constant speed, making those go the same speed as the earth. Now when you detach those objects from the ground, from the earth, and they are allowed to fall, they are then losing the speed that they had from the ground and therefore decelerating, they're losing that speed as they are no longer being pushed up. So the box on the right represents the plane. Now the line that the arrow is pointing to on the right represents the back of the plane. With the back of the plane moving at a constant speed in that direction. Now obviously if you turn this 90 degrees that would represent the ground. And then it basically becomes the earth moving up at a constant speed. It's just 90 degrees inverted. Now when you are in the oil of that plane or even just sitting on the seat, but let's go with the oil for now. When you're in the oil of the plane, you then do not lose that speed of the plane and go falling to the back of the plane, do you? Which would be representing the ground. Like the claim of the earth moving up at a constant speed. No. Now you could jump or have something hanging from a string or a spring on that plane moving at a constant speed and it would still not lose any speed and hang towards the back of the plane due to losing the speed of the plane, going at a constant speed, would it? No. Now the reason I drew the one on the left as a box is because some people will say, well if you climb up on top of the plane, then you would be moving through the air, and that air would then be pushing you back, and you'd probably fly off the plane. Okay, that's wrong with that idea. Well with the box on the left, we could take away the air, and still, the objects would appear to fall towards the ground. So it's not the air that's creating this. So saying, oh, if we put you on top of the plane, you would lose that speed due to the air pushing you back, because you're pushing into the air, which is then pushing you back. If we did it on a box, in a vacuum, on the earth, objects would still fall. So it's nothing to do with the air, why things fall. So the deceleration is nothing to do with the air.